Hi everybody, welcome back. I hope you're all well. Um, I've taken um, some time uh, here to show you just some little gems that I'm making. Uh, these are going to be my little Neuro Drip Trees. So I've got um, some sheets of paper and I've cut them in half and I'm just taping them down to the board. So there's just six of them. Okay, and then I'm just going along and um, they're securely taped down, uh, but not too secure. Um, okay, and then I'm beginning my drips. I'm doing this with ink. This is uh, brown ink. Uh, we're just doing runners. I did it with the brush at the top like this. Now, and then I've dried it. And then I'm putting on my next layer. And this is what you can see me doing now. And letting them run and they're dripping off the end of the board. And I'm not thinking about them too much and just dripping and just enjoying them. But I'm making sure I dry them between each layer. It's really important. Now going in with some black ink just to create and to bring them forward. But one thing I'm doing here is I'm not just working on one square. I'm going across quite a few of the squares. So it, it makes it keep nice and loose. So the branches will be nice and loose. So they're not staying in one place for too long. Really enjoyable to do. Not so enjoyable if you're in a studio like mine and I'm just working on a drawing board. It makes it really difficult. So here now I'm peeling off the tape. Obviously I've dried it all off and peeling off all the tape. Um, and it will give it a nice little clean border all the way around. Sometimes it does rip your paper. You do have to be very careful at what angle that you pull it off at. But that's something that's just trial and error and you have to learn how to do that yourself. I found that to keep it in at a forty five degree angle um as i'm as I'm pulling it away, it does mostly come off nice and clean um as you can see from the uh, the drips here i I would have liked to have left more space in the middle, and I think that probably next time I would probably use a bright orange background so that it would create the light and also you know if you wanted to do it as a, a less abstract painting and more coming towards realism with abstract. Then, you know, you, you would add um, horizon lines and uh, different things like that. But I'm just giving you the general gist here of these tiny little gems. These were just two four, A4 sheets of paper that I used. I cut them in half. You know, I folded them and then I cut them in half. So it gave me, um, uh, not two, uh, two, it was uh, three. So it gave me six pieces. Sorry, my mind's everywhere. <laughs> And um, as you can see here, they've come out okay. Um, proper winter wonderlands. You, you, you know, the world's your oyster now. You can do what you want to with them. Give us a great way of loosening up and to be able to um, have something to react to. You know, don't forget, I'm an intuitive painter, firstly. And so um, I really enjoy doing this kind of work. Uh, it gives it such a lovely... Um, feeling and flow of the looseness and everything I couldn't have created those marks myself if I'd, if I'd have tried uh, the way that they've um, skimmed down and the spidered across and everything it's just been so much great fun um, so next I'm filling in the um, areas now with my neuro in so I'm doing the neuro in I've gone you can't see it very well here but I've drawn all the way around the edge across the bottom and across the top I'm trying to think about where I'm actually doing it and doing the connections because um, I'm trying to create the picture now. So like on this particular picture here, um, the bottom part is, is created a nice wall in front of it or in front of the trees and the branches with a little moon at the top. It was all unintentional. It was all purely intuitive. But I did want to create something along on the foreground there. Um, which I did have the idea of a bit of a wall. So although I'm still neuroing and relaxing and my mind's wandering, it's been absolutely lovely to do. So here now, I'm trying to fill in the, um, make some more um, light as you're looking through the trees, but it didn't really work. But again, all trial and error, like I said, and I needed to leave a bit more, needed to leave a bit more of gaps. So um, so now you can see um, yeah. I've packaged them up into little mount frames with backboards and slided them into a little pocket. There's two that um, isn't done just yet, um, but there's the other four are done. I've got two more to uh, 
to you know to make up um, but these are a lovely way to present them uh, to the public or to just keep them as a keepsake yourself because um, mostly I put my work into sketchbooks but um, I quite liked these um, and doing the narrowing over the top of all these I really enjoyed it, it was so relaxing and um, it, you know it, it, it just brought the pictures together because you can see now that the trees and the twigs are all entwined and it's just brought it all together thoroughly enjoyable. I hope you liked the video um, and uh, please like and subscribe uh, and it's nice to be with uh, like-minded people so and this is the final product just of one okay bye